Hello, Collective. Welcome to Collectively Chosen. It's Miss Kelly coming to you with your what you need to know message. So from what I'm seeing here, my lovely collective, somebody here is astounded by your emotional intelligence. Um, you know, you could be in this energy of uh, just feeling really, um, what do we call it? Uh, what do they call it? Like, uh, like a humanitarian, but it, it's another word. When it comes to me, I'll get to it. But you can feel like in this humanitarian type of energy um, where you are possibly, you know, taking extra time, looking out for possibly elderly people, um, you know, just doing nice things, things from the heart, okay? Um, I do feel like... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, who now want to talk about it? I do feel like you have some fake friends or somebody here who has some sort of third party situation. All right, there could be a Libra here involved. All right, so it's either a third party situation or this is some like these are fake friends. Okay, but there's some sort of justice coming in, or there's these people are getting some sort of justice here. I do feel like for some of you, somebody here is some sort of regret. They feel like you changed your mind uh, about a connection or relationship with them, okay? Or trying to come, uh, even in friendship. Like, I just feel like somebody, you may feel like somebody is not, is fraudulent. They're a fake friend, all right? Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is here. They're taking their time, but they are making some sort of plan, I feel like, to come towards you. I uh, do feel like whoever this is, this is someone who's realizing they're not going to be able to juggle you, okay? Not even, not one bit. This person knows that they cannot juggle you. Yeah. Eight of Swords in the reverse. All right, so I do feel like some of you could be coming out of your head, okay? Could be dealing with a King of Pentacles, or you are this King of Pentacles. Take it how I resonate, all right? Somebody here as well could be getting out of jail. That's not for everybody. Okay, we have the Three of Swords. Yeah, there's a King of Pentacles here who they regret playing some sort of game. And the, that's crazy because we got the Queen of Pentacles there. The King of Pentacles wanted to come out here. And we have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, um, hmm. there's some sort of heartbreak here. Why is the Three of Swords here? Three of Swords. Yeah, ooh. Some sort of heartbreak has someone down. Wow. The lovers. Something could have come out about a lover. Somebody could no longer want to hide a lover. I'm saying that as well. Mm. <coughs> what is this nine of swords? Ooh. Okay, so somebody is really in their head. They want a new beginning with you. They don't know how you're going to respond. <coughs> Excuse me. But somebody is very much sure... That they want to possibly, that somebody here wants to be with them or be with you. Three of Wands reverse. Three more. Thank you. Page of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Wands. Page of Pentacles reverse. Page of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Somebody here could be kind of, I'm feeling this energy like tired of fighting, like for something concrete. Yeah. Somebody's tired of fighting for 
give and equal give and take here is what I'm seeing. Queen of Wands, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. Some of you, uh, you got some people here, honey. <laughs> I don't know if you know, but they fighting to get with you. They're highly attracted to you. It's something about your emotional intelligence that have these people like off the rails. Person, people, some of you could be a younger person. We got the King of, um, we got the King of Cups. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, with the Ace of Wands, you have some people that find you highly attractive. Um, some of you used to be going to some sort of uh, function or something like that. Uh, there could be some sort of fight over you and someone being intimate with one another. Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody here is definitely in love. I do feel like for some of you, this is like a mutual thing. So you and somebody here, something would be a burden, but I feel like, oh, okay. King of Cups coming out here again. And the King of Pentacles again. <clears throat> okay, coming out of some sort of regret, some sort of... All right, okay, so I feel like somebody is coming out of some sort of um, some sort of heavy energy. I do feel like someone's emotions, though, is weighing them down. Like, whatever else they have going on in their life, wow, look at the Queen of Cups sitting right here. As that King of Cups was just right there. Chill, yeah, you and somebody, honey. Y'all need to go here and let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> okay. Let the cat out of the bag. All right. I do feel like that somebody here could see you and them together. Yeah, somebody here. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And then we have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Somebody here could have been in a very toxic relationship. Things could have gone back for them, gone backwards. Somebody here may have to pay out an empress here, okay? Somebody may have to pay someone child support or alimony, all right? Someone that they could have been in a long-term relationship with or married to. Take it how it resonates. But somebody here would have to pay some sort of um, child support or something here. What is the Ace of Cups? That's too many. It's the Ace of Cups. It's the Ace of Cups. Page of Cups. What else? Somebody is crushing on you, Collective. Yeah, the Empress. The nine, of, the nine of Pentacles. Somebody's crushing on you hard. What the Lovers could be doing with the Gemini. Two of Cups reversed. King of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to come towards you. They do. This person sees you as some sort of Empress energy. Emperor energy. Take it how it resonates. Just the Empress is out here. Um, hmm. Let's see. This is page of wands. This person wants to reach out and tell you something. Okay, I'm going to say this. <coughs> Excuse me for the cross watcher, baby. If you really, and I get it, you might be afraid of what this person may say or how they may come off or, you know what I mean, or whatever. Uh, I don't think text message would be the best way to want to try to break communication. I know that's a way that you could possibly, you know, stick your toe in the water, test the waters, see what the temperature is. But uh, if you want this person, I feel like, to take you seriously, okay, versus you coming back them thinking like you're coming back in some sort of, uh, you know, like 
play like childish energy, I would say come at this person straight up and be honest. Okay, don't hold back everything. You know, you hold back what you feel as though you need to hold back. But for the most part, it's that's a moment that you need to show some sort of vulnerability. Uh, put yourself out there and be okay if the person is saying like, no, you know what I mean? Or, you know, just, yeah. Look, we have the justice and okay. So somebody done had an aha moment here. Something is coming in for you. Yeah. Something's definitely coming in for you. Something is coming out here. Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. Somebody here could be a workaholic too. Somebody could work, like to work a lot. Okay. Um, you may feel like this person don't think about you. That's not true. Okay. <laughs> you. I feel like for some of you, you may feel like uh, somebody only cares about their work. All right. You guys are now... You're dealing with our sign, a king of pentacles. Yes, they are about their bag, baby. Okay, and if you are dealing with the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, yes, or you are this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, yes, they are about their bag. Um, and they like people who are just as ambitious and have their own thing and own goals as well. All right. Um, though they're not the type of personalities that, uh, now they can be a bit controlling. Okay, <laughs> they do. They like to uh, control uh, things around them and how things flow for them, okay? I will give that. Yes, they do. Uh, but I do feel like you feel like somebody here, they work a lot and they act like they can't communicate when they're at work for somebody here. Somebody feels like somebody, yeah, and you could have possibly ended a situation because of that. All right, what's the eight of wands reverse? So there's no movement here. In the situation. All right, yeah, we have the Hierophant and we have the Hermit. So someone could be going within, all right? Somebody here could have ghosted as well, all right? Somebody could have gone in, possibly, let's see, another direction, three of wands, yeah. Something could have been out of fear, though. Fear something from the past. If it, yeah. Mm. Could be something as well. Fear something coming out. All right, we have the Emperor. Give me the moon and the Emperor. Yeah, then they say somebody could definitely be married, have a family. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, somebody wanted this with you and was just afraid to tell you. But we have here the Star, the Fool, and the Six of Cups. So this could be a strong Aquarius. Somebody from your past or somebody that you had some sort of past life connection with. Uh, I don't see this person as being wish fulfillment for you. Uh, or something is something has this person drinking, so I don't know if this person is a drinker, like somebody that, uh, okay, yeah, mm. somebody could have said something or did something when they were under the influence as well. Ace of Pentacles and the four, yeah, somebody regrets, uh, oh, okay. 
I heard somebody say they missed the Punani too. Okay, so not only they missing you, they missing your Punani. <laughs> okay, the Punani. Yeah, you going on about your business. When somebody is miss feel like they missed the opportunity to to, to feel your Punani too, but yeah. Somebody could be coming in with an apology here, okay? After walking away from something, somebody's making some sort of decision, okay, to walk away from something. I feel like somebody wants some sort of equal give and take here. Yep, look, with the King of Cups, Queen of Swords, but they don't know if you're going to be in this cold. Yep, look, Queen of Swords pop right out. They don't know if you're going to be in this real cold energy. I feel like at one point in time, that's what the energy they gave you. And so they're afraid that you're going to give that energy back to them if they try to come back around to try to balance something out between you two. That's the energy I'm getting with this. Um, hmm. Let's see. What else? I want to see what this Three of Cups is about. I really, truly do. I want to see what this Three of Cups is about. Yeah, somebody could really be drinking here. I could be drinking a lot. Slow down, little red Corvette. Yeah, but you, your emotional intelligence has someone really astounded. <laughs> When you say you're done and you're tired of the drama and the bullshit, you put it in. You don't want to hear none of it. And I feel like this person feels like you're not going to want to hear them out. Okay? Um, hmm. Yeah, see? Destroy police. Somebody could work in law enforcement. Yeah, somebody is really going through depression. What is the Three of Cups reverse? Somebody could have somebody could be really regretting putting you in a third party. Okay. They feel like they made a bad choice by putting you in this third party. I feel like somebody just didn't know how how much you could really set boundaries. Like, yeah, when they got caught out there. Somebody didn't know just how real the shit could get. Ha! <laughs> we got caution. And then we have check yourself. See, you already know the tea. Watching shit go down. So some of you, you already know. Some of you know this was a situation where it was like a group or you were out or something like that. If you felt as though your friends knew something, they knew. They knew. They were a part of it, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all have done some serious healing work. Three of Cups. Ooh. Okay. Still feel like somebody is kind of... I just heard it's <laughs> stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, I just saw the Eight of Swords. That's what I just heard. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Somebody is, somebody's coming out of a situation. So if somebody tried, somebody put you in a third party situation. They're coming out of that situation. I don't know what's what's like what, what's taking it so long. Maybe some emotions are still there because it's a lot of cups. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. Clarifying that is the Two of Cups cross. The uh, Seven of Cups reverse and the Ten of Cups reverse. So, a lot of emotions, okay? Fighting here. Competition, all right? And then we have a Queen of Swords here. So, there could have been some sort of fight with a Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy here. Give me more. Yeah, this is something from the past. Some, yep, what I say. If you was at some sort of party function, some sort of something. Let's 
Six of Cups. Yeah, Page of Wands. I mean, Page of Swords. Somebody from your past. Somebody be watching your home. Or watching you. Five of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like somebody could have definitely um, tried to sabotage you at some point. <laughs> How you gonna sabotage somebody and then you missing? Somebody's missing you. Somebody could definitely be missing a Gemini here. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Someone no longer wants to juggle. They want to invest. But I feel like the moment they chose to want to invest is when you walked away. Yeah, somebody does not want to, they don't want to juggle anymore. Well, something is too much to balance. Wow, okay. So relinquishing some sort of responsibility or relinquishing some sort of betrayals and things of that nature. Like, I feel like somebody's taking their power back in a situation. Yeah, High Priestess, I'm telling you the truth here. Yeah, High Priestess. Could be dealing with our Pisces. Yeah, Ace of Swords. We have the full and the four of the sword. Oh. Y'all be careful. Make sure you're protecting yourselves if you're being intimate with anybody. Protect yourselves. What's this ace of swords? This ace of swords, yeah. Set some sort of boundary here. Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. I don't know if came out. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords. Somebody here is keeping their movements to themselves. Some of you all have a guide that's guiding you. 1966 could be significant. Give me getting caught cautious. Okay. Justice could have def could be definitely dealing with a leader. <coughs> Somebody could have got caught. What is this? What is this about? Justice. Queen of Pentacles, Strength Cards, Good morning. Sound like it. Seven of Wands, Reverse, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you saw somebody for exactly who they were. Thank you. You, <coughs> excuse me. You saw somebody for exactly who they were and why they were trying to attach themselves to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, hmm. This person feels like you already know what you need to know about them. In all honesty, I feel like that's what really makes them uncomfortable. Yeah, this person is waiting for you or has been waiting for you to invest in them. Okay. But you see them for exactly who they are. Who they are. All right. I do feel like you hurt someone's pride as well, 
or you make someone feel a bit insecure uh that did come out of this deck yeah look at this I do feel like somebody is wanting to give up here. I feel like this person may end up giving up. Okay, confirmation. This person may feel like that you're obsessed with being single. For those of you who are single, <laughs> okay. They they feel like you and somebody is obsessed with being single. Sounds like Gemini energy. <laughs> I ain't lying. Uh, yeah, look at this. Fulfilling a fantasy. It's about to explode in the reverse, put on the show. Fake apology. So you don't trust someone here. Yeah, tantric sex. So collective, um <coughs> somebody feel like y'all put it on each other. Anyway, <laughs> please. I do not want that song popping in my damn head, uh, by Rashida. And y'all know she's a Gemini, but that's the worst song I ever heard in my life. Um, one of them. Let me not say the worst, but one of them. It's close. Louis Prada Gucci tops that one. Jesus. Um, <laughs> some of you, somebody, you could have realized that somebody here, um, they became a bugaboo a bit after you and them. You know, had sex. This person is envious, all right? They could be investigating, trying to find out some sort of information. I thought like this person just want to know, are you seeing somebody here? Yeah, they want to know if that's why you kicked them to the curb. Are you seeing somebody? Uh, whoever, and if they're seeing a third, seeing someone else, okay, or have somebody that they're seeing, this person... Uh, this person could know about you or know that this person is still hung up on you. Thank you, confirmation. This person could know that this person is still uh, hung up on you. And this person is trying to copy your energy. Yeah, look, fake apology, depression. All right, because whatever it is, honey. Uh, whatever it is they're trying to sell you, you're not buying. Okay, that's what I'm getting with this. Whatever they trying to sell you, you're not buying. Yeah, toxic in the reverse. We have bank failure. We have divorce. Uh, this person said they hate nothing about you. Wow. They feel like you could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But again, didn't I say somebody here is insecure that you're not going to want to hear them out? You're going to possibly either consider them to be a fake friend. Thank you. You're going to either consider them to be a fake friend or something. Um, somebody could be believing that you possibly are sleeping with somebody else. So that could be why they uh, <clears throat> is cutting something off. Somebody wants to set the record straight and wants to tell you about a hater that you have. So somebody could come to you and give you some information about somebody that's hating on you, throwing dirt on your name. All right. Remember, I said something about sexual protection here. So please make sure you are protecting yourselves. Somebody could be upset as well that, okay, I heard too, somebody could have switched up the game. You know, some of y'all could have, you could have been being intimate with this person at one point in time without protection. And now you're making them wear protection. Okay. Oh, wow. Yep. Look, because you could feel like somebody here is promiscuous and doing drugs. Well, that's what somebody is saying. Child, yep, look, investigate, burning evidence, envious, already know the tea, child. It sound like it's a show, shit show. Okay, look, oh, shit show, going zones. Look, already know the tea, you know. Thank you. Whatever this is, whatever you, this is your confirmation. Whatever you were feeling about this situation, this reading is your confirmation. You already know what you know. So, yeah. You have somebody who wants to come towards you. Somebody could have heard that your sex is tantric. Like, you you put it down. That's, that's what I'm getting. You put it down, collective. Okay. So, where's the honey muffin? We got to talk about it. <laughs> okay. 
They say they got to talk about it. They need to know. Crazy mofros. Crazy deranged. Okay. Crazy deranged. Let's see. So you got some haters. This person I feel like going to try to give, they're going to tell you something that, that's been going on. Yep, look, hater, keeping a promise. They're going to tell you something. There's a hater that's going to be putting on a show. They're going to be carrying you on, child. Trying to get rid of evidence and stuff. Look, keeping you a secret, envy. Somebody could have thought they were going to keep you a secret. And it didn't work out. Yeah, we got the copycat energy again. Got the copycat energy again. What else do you have for the collector? See, look, something is brewing, breaking point, healing. Somebody wants to heal with you so bad. Yes. Some of y'all could be saying, fuck dating. <laughs> okay. But no, I do. I feel like uh, some of y'all are ready to get back out there again. I do see that. All right, some of you, you may meet somebody while you're out on vacation. Y'all could be vacationing. All right, I feel like you are in this energy. Look, just wanted to turn around. You're no longer in this uh, chaser runner dynamic. So if you were dealing with some sort of like uh, runner chaser dynamic, that's over. That's done. Yeah, string along, love bombing. You're, you're not, you're not dealing with that. You're not, you're not dealing with that. Somebody here could be definitely sending love spells towards you. What's this here? Wow, the tower in the reverse. Somebody here wants to reverse the tower in this belong in this deck. Somebody here wants to reverse a tower here and heal. What I didn't I tell you gossip? Somebody was definitely gossiping, spreading rumors, or this person heard some sort of rumors or something here. Somebody could be gossiping, saying somebody was stringing you along, and this, that, and the third. I feel like, child, it's the, it's the, it's, it's, it's what, three sides to the truth. Their version, your version, and the truth. Look, we have cut through emotional, mental clarity. Yeah, I told you somebody is getting ready to give you some sort of, um... They about to tell you about whatever gossip or rumors that were going on, going around about you. You're getting ready to find out about it. Mm. Okay. Be mindful of, of a connection being short-lived because it's based off of somebody doing love spells. Okay. Take that for who it's for. Thank you, confirmation. But... Uh, this is going to be based off a of love spell, so it's going to be fleeting. It's not going to be something that I feel like because it's not it's not something that happened organically, okay? Again, and I tell you, somebody here is intimidated by your beauty. Your beauty stands out, all right? Um, <clears throat> somebody feels like that someone knows they don't compare. Why is something... Uh, let's see... I don't say that. Give me on your past beauty. Okay, so you have some. Yeah, sometimes like you have somebody who is just really depressed by the breakdown of you all. Like I don't know. Like this energy is just like. this one in circles okay closed heart <clears throat> somebody could be not learning some sort of a lesson or you didn't in the past 
And I feel like some of you realize you had to make some sort of sacrifice and you've done that. You, you've done that. Separation poker face. Somebody hiding their true feelings. They know damn well they are missing you. They are. They're heartbroken. And that's nothing. We're like, we're not gloating in it or laughing at the person. It's just the truth. No player waiting. So some of y'all could have left this player waiting. Left somebody on red. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Somebody could feel like you are, uh, like you're unfazed by them. Unfazed by the situation. Yeah. Look at this. We have home, toxic, angry. Somebody has some sort of resentment. <laughs> Look, player regret. I told you, somebody regrets playing with you. Whoever this is, they really regret playing with you. Angry, possibly about some sort of abundance here. Sacrifice, first love, mental prison protection. Yeah, somebody wants to protect you. Or been trying to protect you. You and somebody here could be like total opposites, but... It's like y'all get each other, okay? Whoever it was that was running, they're waiting for something to come back. We have divine intervention. Wow, and then we have sex. <sighs> so, hmm. yeah, somebody here is single and a player. Their money could be tight, okay? So be mindful that somebody is coming in for love bomb just so they can get some sex or something. All right, we have uh, needing confirmation of some sort of reconciliation. Didn't I say? Look at this. Reconciliation, my rock, bad intentions, runner, third party that they feel trapped with. Somebody feels trapped with someone here. So I don't know if this is a wife, a child's mother, but somebody is feeling like they are trapped with somebody. That's crazy. You're not trapped with anyone. Not unless you did something, little, you know. Unorthodox. Look, I told y'all, secrets coming out. Secrets coming out. So something is brewing here. We have main lady, and then we have wedding. Okay, so somebody wants to marry you. So, uh, but somebody feels like you enjoy your freedom too much for some of you yeah like we are strangling on huh? I feel like some of you you definitely maybe you stay in the single energy because you you feel as though you don't have time to allow anyone to come in and strain you alone look at this jealousy wish come true toxic alright so Somebody gonna come in possibly impulsive. Somebody wants you definitely to themselves. Whatever this is, they want you to themselves. They say they're available, but they have some sort of mixed feelings because their money could be tight, okay? So that may be the issue. All right, this person is having to pay out some sort of child support, alimony, something like that. All right, we have Thorny Rose. Mixed feelings wanted to come out, cross, but in the reverse. All around them. This is somebody that can't escape you. This is a connection that people would envy as well. So that may be the haters and the fake friends. Like, somebody's going to realize that they have toxic people, low vibrational people around them, okay? Um, now, for some of you, make sure now this is something like you've always been attracted to, those type of energies where it's like, you know, y'all are, how can I put it? 
like y'all are in the spotlight it's because y'all look good together or something like that right um it's still yeah it still may be toxic here okay because that's what i'm saying toxic no it's not good low vibration something could be about finances okay or just like yeah somebody here knows their path so it's like spirit is saying stick with your path separation somebody wants to come out of uh separation here Somebody could be avoiding the connection, could be running from you, all right? And there may, you may be definitely saying no more chances. You're done with the old, okay? But I feel like as soon as you make this decision, this person is going to come in with some sort of apology, all right? So again, just making sure you're not repeating cycles and you're seeing something clearly, okay? Because something that may be a, a painful decision that a new, that you and a new love have to make. All right, we have out in the cold, letting go of the exes. All right, there's someone better. We have mirroring. Then I tell you, new cycle. Y'all are definitely mirroring somebody. There's a new love coming in on a new cycle here. Um, hopefully, it don't start off. Hopefully, it don't start off hot and cold, and then, like, somebody here could be addicted to sex, drinking, and have destructive behaviors. They could like to argue, fight, create a lot of drama. Okay, uh, I don't like that. Let's see. What, what about this new love? What about this new love? They're not going to be hot and cold. I like that. Okay. Came out in the reverse. They're not going to be hot and cold. All right. All right. So, your connection would be full of sex. Okay. Oh, this person gonna have you in your head. <laughs> Wait a minute. Or you or this person's thinking about you and your sex. I'm, I don't know how they would do that. Okay, look, we have old school taking things slow. So some of y'all could be definitely in this mode of taking things slow right now, not moving too fast. Alright, yeah, y'all in a dry spell. Okay, that's okay. It's okay should rather keep it to yourself than just be passing it out picking up other people's uh trauma and all that other stuff so hey do what do what you gotta do babes yeah there's gossip around some sort of love or for heartbreak in the reverse and look we have passion something between you and someone new i i mean we have protection okay they don't want to hurt you protecting the connection protective over you so this person, somebody could be wanting to like, like I say, whoever's spreading these rumors, gossip, or whatever they're doing, somebody is, there's a forbidden fruit around this, but somebody here wants to take a risk. Somebody wants to take a risk. Now, whether they are, I don't know. You can see it. I'm just going to ask right quick. Will this person be willing to do so? I don't know, but look at this. We have gossip, passion, options, karmic connection. All right, so somebody could have tried to say that you're superficial. You have addictions. You have stuff. Um, you play games. Okay, look, we have friendship. So this could be their friend, okay? I don't know. This person could have a friend that could be possibly saying this. So they could have a fake friend as well trying to stop this reconciliation. That may be why something is going hot and cold. Because somebody keeps running off. With, I feel like whoever this is, somebody keeps running off at the mouth. Yeah, somebody could be looking you up trying to see if what this person is saying about you is true. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is trying to find out if what this person is saying about you is true. I have some things I have to deal with before I return to you. I 
want reunion with you. And at the bottom, I stay up late at night thinking about our situation. So I told you, whoever you think this person, they think about you, baby. I'm planning to surprise you with a romantic gesture. All right? Sometimes I see you in my dreams. I will never make that same mistake again. I take back all those things I said I wasn't thinking straight at the time. I act like I'm fine, but I'm really not. I'll never forget what you said. I don't think, I didn't think we'd stay separated this long. I have a hard time trusting and letting people in because of past trauma. I feel like I call, I feel like you caused an awakening in me. I can't fathom the thought of losing you. I took you for granted. I always thought you would be there. I have some things I need to deal with before I return to you. I always felt like I needed you more than you needed me. No one turns me on like you do. What I tell you, honey? I told you somebody, baby. <laughs> Thank you, confirmation. I got scared I hurt you before you could hurt me. Okay, somebody trying to give you that palooza. <laughs> somebody trying to give you that, that palooza. Okay. I type messages and delete them. I'm not sure if I should reach out. So I had that feeling too that this person, they've been wanting to reach out to you and talk to you. Um, but again, like I say, this person don't feel like they know exactly what's going to happen or take place. Hold on right quick, right quick, y'all. Mm -hmm. Spirits around here. Bad. We are not about to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, let's see. On the soul level, what they thought about. Okay, good fortune. The forces are with you. Yeah, like I said, we ain't doing no monitoring spirits over here, baby. Go somewhere else. Conflict and danger lie in wait. All right. Safe travel. So, some of you are getting ready to travel. Just know you have safe passage, okay? What does collective need to know? Exiting these messages. All right, let's see. All right, we have grounding, success, well, success, grounding. Time is of the essence, okay? So, getting serious about whatever it is that you're doing. All right, it's going to take confidence if you want to be successful in something, okay? Hard work with that B. You know, bees work very hard, tirelessly sometimes. All right, I keep saying B, so good fortune. Grounding will help bring in that good fortune as well. It's a part of your destiny, collective, all right? Just follow the divine guidance that you're being given in this time, okay, is what I'm getting here. Okay, look, your secrets are safe. The elixir of life, passions, let your intentions be known equilibrium emotions are at its peak a close friend will act on your behalf so okay so look cast away any negativity and overcome fear so whoever this person is all right a barrier keeps you from your goal whoever this person is somebody you may don't think this person have your back but they do okay and they're going to act on your behalf i feel like this is somebody is strength and wisdom i feel like this is someone who's um Let's see. 
Yeah, union. Forces beyond your control intervene. <clears throat> so something is hated for you and somebody here, okay? Y'all are meant to learn something together in this lifetime. Unseen forces watch over you, spirit. All right, imagination clouds your judgment. So just make sure that you definitely do your grounding uh, collective. So when you are making decisions, you're making sound decisions, okay? Look at this. We have protection here, reverie and indulgence. All right, make sure that you are not overeating. And then we have air. So up your protection, okay? Uh, hmm. And then we have courage, defense. Defend yourself. Defend your creativity, okay? Thank you. And watch how these changes happen. Just go with the flow. Don't go against the tide. Go flow with it. True feelings are a mess, but something's about to change with that. All right? Be meticulous and patient. So be very... In, uh, make sure that you're being intentful. The black cat, your luck will ch soon change. So, if you feel like something has been a little down, that will change. You will receive some sort of news from afar. Somebody could receive some sort of news about their health here as well, okay? And then we have here, look, I love it. Blessed day. Look at every day as being blessed, Gemini. Oh, I said Gemini. Wait a minute. Collective. Look at every day being a blessed day, collective, and... Allow these changes to happen. Let go of whatever you need to let go of, okay? That crab in a barrel type of mentality. If you're dealing with people who have that kind of mentality, let them, let those folks go. Yeah, because these people could be wanting to bring in some sort of conflict, okay? So if you are dealing with people that have a crab in a barrel mentality, follow your intuition and choose your words carefully. We have magical power and navigation. We have the seer and the sphinx. Follow your intuition and watch your words. Finding love, financial security, overcome fear, and karmic justice. Some of you, this new love that's coming in that you want to find some sort of fulfillment in um, is definitely uh, some sort of karmic justice. Something that you did good in the past life. That I feel like somebody wants to bless you with. Uh, the energy that I'm getting with that. Hold on. I want to see. Choose your words carefully. What's that about? Follow your intuition. Choose your words carefully. King of Swords reverse. Somebody who's a bully. Somebody who's definitely a bully. All right, uh, somebody who could be very pissed off right now, too. All right, we have the chariot. Okay, somebody could be, uh, let's see, what is this? Justice and the Empress. I felt that. Why is the King of Swords here in the reverse? Nine of Cups. This person enjoys being this way. Whoever this is, Knight of Pentacles, this person is making some sort of plan. Somebody here, I feel like, don't like to take the, the word. They don't like the word no. They don't like to feel like they're rejected. Yeah, with the death card here. This person wants to reverse something here. <coughs> Excuse me. They want to reverse something with you, Collective. Yeah, three of cups in the reverse and the hermit. All right. Again, some sort of fake friend here. Oh, yeah, the two of wands.
with the hair fence. All right, you choosing, some of y'all, you choosing to be with somebody else is going to cause some sort of friction. Somebody's going to look at somebody here as a fake friend and share. Eight of swords reverse. But I feel like somebody's coming out of their head about it. Somebody is trying to find out, like, what is the deal? Why is this person so, yeah. And I feel like all in all, they're going to realize that for real, this person is obsessing over you. This is somebody who's obsessing over you. Wanting to for real low key reverse some sort of judgment of you walking away. Okay. Um, this is a karmic person. Somebody who likes to take control. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Aries. See Capricorn, Aries. Some sort of player-like energy. And look with the star. Hmm. Yeah, somebody is stuck. Whoever this person is, they are stuck. Some of you could be a sibling. Some sort of reversal about some sort of money as well. With the strength and the page of pentacles. It's just killing me how this three of cups keep coming out in the reverse. Check in. I want to catch up and make sure everything going well. Yeah, I don't. I don't trust this person. They a liar. Negative. See, I'm hiding my true intentions, and I don't actually care about your well being. I told you, I don't. Whoever this is, I don't trust this person. I hope you don't either. I need a secure place to open up. Mm -mm. Don't let this. This, some, this person ain't going to ask you for your uh, your opinion. But look here at the bottom. We have trick. I have all intentions. Hold on. I have ill intentions and may be planning to deceive you. So you see what I'm saying? I don't trust this person, whoever this is. I don't. It could definitely be a Libra. I see cancer here as well. I love you. And I, hold on. I love you and I want to add happiness to your life no this person don't this person is pissed off look i apologize i'm sorry for what i said sabotage i'm deliberately working to undermine your efforts what did i tell you do not take this person's uh apology i feel i'm really being honest i don't feel like this person is genuine at all <coughs> yep look dishonesty I will withhold information from you for my benefit. And then we have growth. I see something inside of you I admire and would like to learn from you. Yeah, they would. But this is to take from you, though. Okay? This is to take from you. I don't... Mm -mm. Whoever this is, this is not a truthful person. Look, past, I still haven't gotten over what happened in the past reconnection. I know it's been a while, but I miss you in my I miss you being in my life. What did I tell you? Say be careful, collective, please. Please, please, please. Some people don't even deserve your words, okay? Alright. You will know somebody too. Okay, if like this person hears some sort of bad news about you, 
or something like that, this person will laugh or you tell them something bad happened. You know what I mean? This is the type of motherfucker to stand in your face and laugh. Like, somebody here is not trustworthy. And they put on one hell of a show. <laughs> Whatever this is, they put on one end of a show. This King of Swords in the reverse. Don't move it for thank you. Confirmation. Honey. Mm -mm. A habitual liar. That's that type of energy. Habitual liar energy. This person will lie about any given thing. And they'll sway up and down that it's nothing but the God honest truth. I feel like, though, for a lot of you, you're too balanced for this person. Yeah, you're too balanced for this person. A sly and subtle approach is needed at this time. In the gaslight, I would deliberately manipulate your perception of reality until you are doubting your own experiences. I told you, this person wants to throw you off. Because they feel rejected. I, that's the energy I'm getting. This person want to throw you off because they feel rejected. What does Gemini need to know? About? I keep saying Gemini. So some of y'all dealing with a Gemini or you got Gemini in your chart or something. See, say what you mean. Okay. <laughs> what does the collective need to know about this person? What does Gemini need to know? What the hell? What does collective need to know about this person? Lord. Family and tribe, sexual art. Rejection. Didn't I say that? Say what you mean. Entrapment. Somebody here could be trying to get somebody trapped into some sort of... You could be saying 333. Family and tribe. Unleash your creativity, sexual art, temptation. And then we have rejection. Some of you, there's a sexual offer coming in. It's up to you. Rejection. Self love, entrapment. Okay. So, self sabotage. What I'm getting with this here. <clears throat> collective is definitely just make sure that you're not allowing someone to come in and tempt you with lust okay make sure that they really putting in some sort of effort because i do feel like somebody here could be wanting to come in have sex just to reject you okay now if that was something that you would possibly end up because uh, everybody you know some people may actually think or have some sort of feeling that maybe this person changed and whatever the case may be, right? And even though that's not what I see here, um, I'm seeing somebody who's coming in wanting to play some sort of games. I feel like there are different energies here, though. So don't combine all of this one energy. This is, I feel like, that Libra energy, that, that justice energy that kept coming out. All right. Now we had, you know, some of the justice they came out in reverse. And then you had a couple that I think you had like two that came out in reverse and then one that came or two that came out in the upright, something like that. But <clears throat> again, what did they say? Tricking energy. OK, this person, they're 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 looking to deceive you. All right. Uh, is the energy that I'm getting with that. So just definitely be careful. All right, because whoever this is, they are a habitual liar, and they're good at what they do. They're good at lying, whoever this is. They're good at lying. See, deep regrets won't let you go. This is somebody here who, uh, give me sexual arts temptation. Okay, I came up. Sexual arts, temptation. See, block communication. This person is not able to speak to you. They have a scurry obsession. I told you. And they are talking about you. This is somebody who is fake, all right? Non-committal. They're staying around. They have some sort of hidden reasons, hidden intentions. And this person could possibly uh, divulge in, you know witchcraft or just have dark energy okay this person could be very resentful 
towards you. We have player. And look, we have sex magic here. So somebody here uh, could have thought that they, you know, put it on you in some type of way. Somebody here is craving you. So some of you, if you've been intimate with somebody, especially if this is a past person, all right, this person could have had a very high sex drive. That's how you'll know who I'm talking about. Somebody could have had a very high sex drive. Uh, this person is craving you. So if you're feeling like some sort of energy and you don't know where it's coming from, like sexual energy, that's them uh, sending that energy towards you. But this person could definitely have dark intentions and then surprise gift. And what did they say? I plan on surprising you with a romantic gesture. This is someone who could live above their means and they do stalk you this person is un mentally unstable okay uh then i say pathological liar habitual liar all right this is someone who could overindulge have a negative mindset so you might just want to be careful yeah energy vampire this is how they like to get your energy so you can have um very like high vibrational sexual energy and this person okay this is how they kind of like try to suck you dry all right so hmm. what is this here deep sadness yeah somebody's feeling reject somebody feels like they're rock bottom because they got rejected we have selfish actions what is this living above their means overindulging so somebody here look and then stalking you somebody's wanting to take <clears throat> some sort of risk okay secret admirer but somebody is being controlled by somebody that is mentally unstable somebody could even be going through some sort of physical abuse i pray that you are not if so, please try to get in touch with your uh, your local domestic violence uh, organization. Deep regrets, legal problems. Yeah, I feel like if this person is planning on doing something like to you, see, secretly jealous of you, dark intentions, lock your doors, narcissists won't let you go, but they're a pathological liar, toxic karmic love. This person, did not say they drink? Whoever this is, all right, they could feel like they're trapped in a connection they no longer want to be in for some of you, all right? This person is non-committal, but then we have cord cutting here. So, yeah, you could have cut the cord to whoever this is, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And then I say for some of you, somebody here could be a workaholic, okay? Um work comes before anything so and somebody here has anger issues yeah i you know, collector baby you do what you want to do with it i'm just saying <laughs> i don't like this person's energy not one bit all right um somebody is craving your your sexual energy Say what you mean. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm getting this energy too. If you are missing someone yourself, uh, collective spirit is saying, say what you mean. If you miss that person, tell them you miss them. Tell them you miss them. Healing. They wanted to come out in the reverse and then now. Yeah, mutual attraction between you and somebody else. And y'all both want to hook up, though. Whoever this is, you and somebody collective want to hook up. 
Yeah, look, reunion. But somebody here could be being very rigid, okay? Look, we have new love. A new door. It's on the way. This person is going to want to spend time with you. So, I don't know about these old people, but this new person here yeah, looking and came right back out. This new person going to want quality time with you. And what's going to be their biggest attraction to you is that you love yourself. You put yourself first. Look at this. And it's time to say goodbye to some sort of past life relationship. And allow yourself to open up when to, you know, open up to true love. Um, I feel like you and someone, y'all are not on the same path. Something could be unrequited. Okay. Um, there could be one of these options that you are, you feel like you and this person aren't on the same page and you want to just go your, you know, go separate directions. Okay. Um, but I do feel like there's somebody that's coming in that's getting ready to snatch you up quickly. I feel like they about to snatch you up. <laughs> They about to snatch you up, collective. Hold on, it was one point of the other one I wanted to use. I want to get y'all some spirit messages. What do your spirit guys have to say to the collective? What does collective spirit guys want the collective to know? What does the collective spirit guide wants the collective to know? Okay, look. Take it easy out there. Open and honest communication is a requirement. Fulfill your own needs. Protect yourself. Didn't I say that earlier? Creative ideas bring success. So whatever you're working on, focus on what truly matters, okay? Stay focused at this time. Collective. Never let them see you sweat. Anything else? Okay. Real recognize real. Control your emotions. Reject anything that does not serve your highest good. Period. And self-control is key. Very big component. Keep your eyes on the prize. And be careful of those trying to use you. What did I say? You are no one's option. Put the trash out by the curb. Okay? If it's not working for you, we're going to say prepare yourself for the new. Prepare yourself for the new. You ready for that? Yeah, no. Uh-oh. I'm almost done. Oh, we have love wins waiting. No matter how long it takes, true love always wins. Cupid's love brew is being made specially special just for you to win your heart while you're waiting ask yourself if you're if they're really worth your time and risking out missing on other amazing people okay so some of you you could be waiting on someone from the past all right but are they worth it yeah because look your strength intimidates them they're hoping you make the first move but don't any man or woman worth having must match your strength period Period. If they ain't matching your, your vibe, that person ain't for you. Don't be afraid to be different. Allow your inner goddess to radiate. After you meet after you meet her, you'll never be the same. Honor the divine feminine. So honor that empress energy within you. Look, hidden info. Babe, you don't have all the facts. Something is being kept hidden. Could be their feelings, a third party, or their true intentions. Remain cautious. Okay, so, yeah. You need to definitely protect yourself in this time, collective. And, you know, be on your P's and Q's. I don't say don't 
Don't be paranoid, but just be on your P's and Q's is what I'm getting. But you're a tough girl and you intimidate them. And how about it? Three's a crowd. So if this person is definitely dealing with some sort of third party situation, you don't want that. Babe, it's up to you if you want to make yourself an option. But why would you want to wait around for a man and make a choice to dictate your direction? You may, you get to make the choice. Collective is basically what this boils down to. They don't get to choose. You get to choose. So, that's what I have. But you are unforgettable. This, for this person can't just up and forget about you, though. They can try to replace you all they want, but honey, you're irreplaceable. You stand out from the rest. They know they messed up with you. So that's all basically what it boils down to. So like I say, this person is a habitual liar. So I don't need you believing anything that they have to say. I hope these messages resonate with you in some way, shape, or form. That they gave you some sort of clarity. Like I said, though, if you were feeling some type of way, this reading was confirmation. So... Please hit that like, share, subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.